Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Roger Gaines, and you're tuned into Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries. We're located at 764 West 107th Street in Los Angeles. Our Sunday morning worship services starts with a call to prayer at 11.30 a.m. There is a Tuesday noonday prayer and Bible study and a Thursday midweek Bible study. You are welcome to any and all services. If you need directions on how to get here, if you have a praise report, if you're sitting there and you're watching this and you don't know where you will spend eternity should Jesus return, give me a call. Bishop Raji Gaines, you can reach me at the at a toll-free number 888-294-7708 come on give me a call we want you to come on and praise God with us amen come on you make yourself comfortable kick off your shoes give God some praise amen because this is the place where God's spirit dwells come on out give me a call if you need directions if you need prayer whatever it is give me a call Bishop Roger Gaines again that number is 888-294-7708 and I believe when you come out, you'll say, it was good for me to yes. be in there. Now somebody give God a quick praise. Yes. Oh. Hallelujah. This is Super Bowl Sunday. Hallelujah. Man. So many folks uh, trying to get their barbecue and whatever going on. So Man. For a game, amen, that's only going to last for a couple of hours. <laughs> And they forsake their soul, yeah. hallelujah, that has to have an eternal resting place. Amen. If uh, you can grab in your Bibles to the book of 2 Timothy, amen, 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, amen, and the eighth verse, and I most probably stop right there, amen, or actually we're going to go up to the seventh verse, we're going to read the seventh and the eighth, amen. In fact, oh, excuse me, correction, correction. We're gonna start at the sixth verse. And the sixth verse in the book of Second Timothy, the fourth chapter says, for I am now ready to be offered. Huh. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. Hmm. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day, and not only me, but unto all of them also that love his appearance. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearer, to the reader, and the doer of his word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, like only you can do, God, shower me with your spirit, oh God. Oh God, remove the man out of the way so that the spirit of the Lord can come through with power and authority. Now, God, I take dominion over this service, oh God. And I rebuke the devil on every hand. I rebuke his devices, everything he's trying to use to take our mind off of service. I cast down yes, every God. worry, every problem, everything, oh God, that has come up, oh God. And God, I cover each and every person in this temple and under the sound of my voice with your blood, God. God, I rebuke the enemy on every hand. Satan, your plan is defeated. You are defeated, foe. The blood of Jesus is against you. Now, I send you out of here, but not only out of here, but out of the lives of the homes of those that are the sound of my voice, out of this neighborhood and community, because we declare it to be the fertile harvest ground for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, God, as for me, your man servant, I only ask clarity of thought, proceeding yes. concerning speech. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength, my firm and pinnacle rock, and my redeemer, and all that love God said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Give the Lord a hand. I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. Amen. I know some of you want to go watch the game. Amen. Hallelujah. But since my team ain't in it, who cares? 
I don't even really have a team anymore. I grew up a Rams fan, and we all know how that turned out. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. I do enjoy football, though. I have two sons that play, and I'm praying that both of them make it into the NFL. So that amen. Dad don't have to so but not so much for me, so they don't have to work so hard. Amen. I'm going to teach them how to do better with their money than I did. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For a brief moment, just for your listening today. Amen. We're going to, what's kind of a continuation uh, from last week's sermon. Uh, who knows the, who knows what the topic on last week was? Have you born No. Preparing for departure. Oh, yeah. Ah, see, somebody wasn't paying attention. Hallelujah. But after you, amen, when we study the Bible and we see how, amen, God got the children of Israel prepared for departure, amen, we're going into the stage where rewards or the inheritance is given out, amen. And this year where Paul was talking about the crown of righteousness yes, being yes, laid yes. up for him. In other words, there was an a inheritance. There was something, amen, that was in store for him once he got to his destination part. Oh, God, I wish somebody was praying with me. He says, my departure time is at hand, amen. And understanding that, amen, when you are on a journey, amen, and you have your goal in sight, uh, uh, when you, um, amen, when you go on vacation, when I took the first lady to Hawaii, I, amen. We had a departure plan, but there was something uh, that she was waiting to see or to get once we got to our destination. Uh, she was uh, looking forward to uh, in taking the beauty of, uh, of Maui. She was looking for all the rich uh, land and the things that she could get while she was there. Uh, but you have to, I told you last week, uh, before departing, you gotta have, you gotta prepare for departure. You gotta have a departing plan in order to get to your inheritance. Uh, but then, 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 then Paul talks about, he said, I fought a good fight. Yeah. And that's where I'm going to kind of, I'm going, I'm going to flip back, amen, to Joshua, the 14th chapter in a minute. But I need you to understand that you're in a fight. Yeah. Uh, that this, oh God, uh, that you're just not going to walk through this life, amen, without yes. there being a little bit of trouble that yeah. comes your way. Yeah. Uh, you're not going, the devil's not going to just let 